All right, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to World of Tanks. Today we're fucking we're playing World of Tanks. All right. So uh, I didn't think anybody would actually give a shit to see the first six minutes of the game because it's it's just kind of fucking boring, like the beginning of every other pub game on the planet. So uh, yeah, here's here's the end. Uh, here's our situation. There's an idiot Yag Panther one shot on cap. Their light tanks are one shot. The charioteer is pushing hill. He's probably gonna murder that guy soon. And now I'm in one v seven. Math is hard. Um, so at this point, I'm like, okay, the Yag Panther's a one shot. He's a gigantic pussy, and he's just gonna cap. Fine, that's okay. Uh, so the charioteer seemingly was the only one that actually gave a shit to fight me. So I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll fight him. But then the Yag Panther two gets off cap. And the charioteer doesn't want to fight me anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck was going on in his head. I don't know when I started the replay, but that uh, M3 guy... M3... M3Y, yeah, whatever it's called. He was spotted going down. Uh, I think so. I don't know. Anyway. Luckily their life tank was close and dumb. So I take a hit from him and kill him. Uh, Egg Panther 2. This was maybe a bit lazy, but to be honest, it was a 1v6. I figured they would be taking the hill, and I was heckin' scared. So I wanted to just rush and kill that guy. I also didn't think he would be, like, aiming at me. So maybe a bit greedy, but whatever. I just wanted to kill him. And move on, because if I just sit there waiting for shit to happen, then I die. So now, I'm like, okay, they're gonna push north. Uh, and this is just the easiest position to defend from. I had another game, another, like, clutch on Tundra before. Um, and that was, like, going through my mind, and what happened in that one was I pushed down the three line, and then like up the seven line, and I got killed doing that. So my goal was to not uh, push down the three line and up the seven line and die. So uh, and on that game, I said that if I had just stayed at a three, I won the game. So I stayed at a three this game, but you know now they're uncapped, so I can't just sit there. Um, this guy is stupid. That's insanely lucky that he happened to be there doing that, and I get this light high roll. Um, fuck Artie. I mean, yeah, you know, all my homies hate Artie. So I'm thinking, obviously this charioteer has to be pushing me from, like, the north, right? Because he was hill. His homie went to cap. He knows that I killed the idiot on cap, and then he saw me go north. So, I'm thinking he has to be going north, but apparently he pushed up the one line. Uh, I get a free shot into him. He's a two shot if I average roll both shots, but I high rolled the first shot, so now he's like a pretty high percentage chance one shot. I'm doing just the fucking classic here, pretend like I'm going this way until I'm not lit, and then, oh holy shit, what do you know, it works. No fucking way. The idiots fall for the same idiot things every time. But then I get shot by Artie some more, because... Artie. Uh, so, at this point, I'm really not afraid of 1v1ing the Yudas. If he decides to cap, then I have time to kill both Artie and come from an unexpected angle. So, that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go kill Artie. Fuck Artie. <laughs> you can see me... Absolutely blogging about it in chat. Uh, yeah. Fuck Artie. Um, hey, I spotted Artie. What do you know? And I'm like kind of trying to use this bush to make sure I don't get lit when I shoot him. And it actually works. <laughs> he just shoots randomly. So that's free as fuck for me. I do get spotted. Once again, I'm going to do like the same bullshit. Because these idiots keep falling for it. You know, um... Pretend like I'm going north, and then turn around. And, I don't know, hopefully it means that the Artie's, uh, 
looking north. The Yudas was last spotted at J7. I have no fucking clue what he's been doing this entire time, but I get lit, like, around here. And getting lit around here means that he's, like, 100% either right where my cursor is, or he's up here. Uh, surely he's not up here, though, because he would just shoot me. So, now I see the arty shoot, I load an HE round, I've debated the shit out of the shot from this guy, and I HE kill him. Uh, adios, dumbass. So at this point, I'm like, okay, the Yudas has to be at like H5, H6, because he's obviously not at J4. And, oh, holy shit, Dr. Dumbass is at J4. This is the most fucking awkward fight I have ever had to deal with. Fernando here in the Yudas, absolute gamer of a player. Uh, he's full health, I'm a one-shot, but, you know, he's in a TD... I'm in a medium. Uh, I didn't like fighting from that angle. I kind of want to just... I Like, if I get next to him, I win. But... Number one goal is to just debate a shot from him. Uh, so, I'm just going to, like, peek this. I'm really not trying to commit for a shot here. But then I commit for a shot, and he owns me. Little fun fact... That is the only shot that that guy fired all game. He fucking sat for 12 minutes. I, he drove around a little bit, right? He had to drive from whatever. He was lit over here all the way over to here. Maybe a, maybe he went back and forth a few times. I don't know. But this fucking dude did nothing for 12 minutes. And he shoots me once. And it's the shot that wins in the game. Well played.